Hello and welcome to another episode of Nothing Definitive. I'm Sam Carlson of notdef.com, actually. I haven't made a video since I bought that new domain. If you go to not or notdef.com, I bought a new website specially dedicated to the Nothing Definitive series. Definitely go check it out. Um, but anyway, today, or tonight actually, we're going to be talking about different states of mind depending on what you're doing. So that's probably a little, that's probably a terrible title actually, but oh well. Okay, so anyway, last year, 2012, I started pursuing esports as like full on, I was d programming a website, I was trying to figure out content, all this stuff for about a year solid. A lot of fun, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm actually still doing it, but there was this hiatus I kind of went on. Well, anyway. I was doing all this content, really involved, and then Thanksgiving rolled around and I totally killed my the routine I was in. I was in this really productive routine and then I took a, like a week off for Thanksgiving and when I got back it was like, oh, it was so hard to get back into it. And then I was like, Christmas is just a few weeks away and then you know I was doing work but I wasn't working nearly as hard. And, um, and, and eventually I started actually spending a lot more time working on this Nothing Definitive series instead of esports. Well, what happened was I started to realize that who I was during that esports era was very, very different from the person who I who I was at that time. And what I what that made me realize was I took I was very because I was so involved in that field, my mind was my mind kind of like adopted the minds that were around me that I was interacting with. Like, I was very interested in things that I would consider very petty, you know, or trivial in the nothing definitive mindset, okay? So when I, you know, because in the nothing definitive mindset, I'm very, I'm very, like, thinking deeply, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in enlightenment and rational thinking and really being calm and content and meditating and I was doing yoga and all this stuff. And um, during that Nothing Definitive, I kept looking back on esports and going, man, I, I cared so much about all these, like, kind of trivial things. I mean, not that, like, esports is great and I love it and stuff, but, like, you know, you would, someone would post some really negative comment on a YouTube video or on a Reddit post or something, and I would just be like, you, you, it would kind of you know, bother me because it was like, what, you're being so mean. <laughs> um, and, and so, okay, so then there was this hiatus where I was working on Nothing Definitive, and recently, um, within the last few weeks, I've really jumped back into esports again, getting, basically returning to the level I was at prior. Okay, so in just that week or two that I've been d totally into esports, I've returned to that mindset that I had previously. I like my nothing definitive mindset completely evaporated and I found my and I found myself literally like this moment. The reason I'm making the video right now is because it just dawned on me that I've returned to that like mindset of caring about really trivial and petty things, like bad negative reddit comments and stuff like that, right? Um and I was literally just seconds ago was meditating and I was like meditating and I was because I haven't done it for like a week now or a week or, week or two and I'm sitting there and I'm going oh my god like I've been so concerned like my mind just moved back into this different completely different mindset that like while it's incredibly productive it's also very negative in a lot of ways and um, fortunately, meditation is freaking awesome because within 10 or 15 minutes of meditating right now, I like Im I just transformed, like like lifted myself back up to the nothing definitive mindset, and it was, and it was just very profound. And I was like, wow, what a, it's so so, it's just so happy and content, you know, compared to this very productive like business um, side of the esports mindset. So I just wanted to bring that up because I think it's a very important distinction that many people may literally never experience because they go, they go from the, the forced productivity of school, the forced productivity of college, and then right into a job. And they never have this 
this moment maybe where they can just literally kind of do nothing but think and be calm and content. You know, maybe if like everyone took a year off after college to go and meditate in Tibet and stuff, they would be like, they'd get back to the real world and be like, whoa, look at all the negative energy, all this, all these people that are being so mean to each other and stressing over all these things that really are just trivial. They're they're really not that important in the grand scheme of things. You know, we have such a rare opportunity on this planet to experience life and be happy and make friends and 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 do productive projects and and own businesses and stuff like that. But we don't we we attach so much baggage to it. Um, so I hope I got the that the point across is basically just that you may be really involved in what you're doing and experiencing a mindset that's very negative or focused on the wrong things and literally seconds or minutes away you could meditate and be in this very different content and happy place so um, so yeah I just wanted to share that because it's something I've I, like I said I had thought of it a while back um, when I was working on nothing definitive and just dawned on me now and I was like I gotta share this because um, it's profound if you, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you very much for listening. As always, um, consider subscribing, checking out notdef.com, where I blog post and post these videos and all that sort of awesomeness. So thanks, and see you next time.